Hi, my name is Lori Marker, and it's Thunder from Down Under. Don't worry, girls. They gone wild, but they weren't taking their clothes off. It was the men this time taking their clothes off. Recently, I just turned 21. I went to Laughlin for my 21st. I know it's not Vegas, but it was just as fun. And we're driving. I'm with my family, my brother, my dad, my sister, two of my sisters, and my mom. And we're driving. It's 10 in the morning, and we're driving. We pass by the sign, and it says Thunder Down Under. Of course, I didn't see it. My mom's like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got to go. I'm, I'm free. Oh, my God. Mom, are you, are you having a heart attack? Are you okay? She's like, we got to go. She's freaking out. I'm like, what? What? Why? Calm down. And I'm nudging my sister laughing like, man, mom, she's not getting enough. <laughs> Anyways, so we go on, you know, it's my 21st. I was a little nervous, you know. I, Of course, my brother and my older siblings want to get me shit-faced. I'm just not in the mood. Um, for any of you that aren't 21, don't, don't start drinking at noon, which is what I did. I started drinking at noon, you know, drinking and drinking and drinking, you know. Terrible idea. I had all my... 21 stuff on. By the time four hit, I'm throwing up, passed out. Um, once again, this show, it's at eight o'clock. My mom paid all this money for six people to go. Eight o'clock, I have a show. I was like, oh man, I can't get up. I'm, I'm gonna throw up again. So I get ready to go to the show. And finally, you know, I wake up, I'm in bed. My mom's like, Lori, Lori, we gotta go. It's seven o'clock. I'm like, oh my God. I'm going to throw up. I don't want to be, oh, like, just, I'm going to go back to sleep. She's like, I paid for those tickets. We're going. <sighs> All right, whatever. So I'm walking over. You know, I don't want to be there. I'm just, oh, but I know it was rude. My mom paid. So we're headed over there. I got my two sisters. One of them was like, oh, I want women. The other one was like, yes, take your clothes off. So as we go in, you know, I'm not in the mood. I don't want to be there. Finally, we sit down, and the show's going on, you know, I'm still not in the mood to be there, I'm still hungover. Finally, you know, a waitress says, you want water or drink, I, I get water. So they start showing some pictures, you know, I'm like, alright, okay. I'm getting a little excited, you know, like, hey, he's, Kelsey, he's pretty good looking, you know, check him out. And they show another one, I'm, I'm getting amped, I'm like, yes, this is it. They come out. I was like, oh, oh man, my snake, my jaw unhinged like a snake. I was just like, oh. it was amazing. I was so excited. You know, they come out and they start dancing. I'm just like, this, I'm in for a surprise. So as the show goes on, you know, one of the guys has a shirt on. It's kind of ripped. Nikki goes, hey, take it off. I'm like, yes, take your clothes off. Just take them all off. So he rips it off, you know, just hulks out of me like, Bruh, and he throws it. It lands right next to me. For the love of God, it was right there. There's a woman sitting next to me about 80 years old, and she just grabs it. I, would, I didn't have time to think. I wish I had it. So as the show goes on, you know, they ask me, you know, is it important? Is it important occasion? I freak out. This is my chance to eat a lap dance. I'm going on stage. <laughs> so I start freaking out. Me, me. And I got picked. I go on stage, you know, and they say, uh, the host says, you got to make the best orgasm face. So I'm like, I'm sorry. Did I just hear him right? Or, or what? Come on now, woman. we all know we fake this from time to time. So I was like, all right, I just gotta do my best. Now I gotta think of something quick. So he starts going, you know, going down the road, I'm panicking, like, oh, oh God. I think of something quick, he's whispering in my ear, you know, keep going, doing good. You could use me as a prop. I'm sorry, what? A prop? You? No. I was excited. So after the show, you know, I go down stage. I didn't win, boo. I got second. The show ends up going on, they keep dancing, you know, I was really happy, I had a good time. And after it ended, you know, I did learn a lesson from watching them dancing and all that, you know, yeah, they jumped on the tables, everybody was screaming their heads off, I'm still like, oh. But I learned. After the show, I went and shook their hands, got some autographs, they were dressed no different than you and me, everyday people. After I did that, I learned that by seeing those people on stage, it gave me the confidence to be comfortable with who you are. I understand they work out and they're all ripped, but it's not just that. It's how you present yourself. And if you're confident, everybody else will believe you're just as confident as they are. And I had a great time. I learned even if you're hungover, get up no matter what and risk it. Go and enjoy an experience even if you're not feeling well. You never know what you're going to get out of it. And that, this is definitely what I learned from this experience. I recommend going to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.